if you took a game like They Are Billions and you combine it with a game like Kingdom, for example, two games that I've played on this channel, you would have Thronefall, and it is quite addicting. I like it very much, and I want to show it to you guys. Uh, so we're going to dive in. There's going to be a uh, about a 5-10 minute tutorial, which will introduce all the mechanics, and I'll kind of talk about those as they're happening. Main idea is that you're building a base during the daytime, and then at night you're defending the base. Uh, you control this king here, and you have an auto attack, so whether that's this ranged bow that we're using, or a spear that we will unlock, then uh, those things happen automatically. But then you also have an attack that uh, you can trigger on your own. So, you can run when you're at full health only. We're gonna build this here, very similar to the way you build stuff in Kingdom. Now, you can't just build wherever you want. Um, when you upgrade your castle, you get access to more building plots, and each of the levels seem to be handcrafted, so there's gonna be natural choke points. Like up here, we're, we're gonna have a, um, a tower being able to build, uh, to be built. I think we have one in this area as well. And then at night, which we trigger ourselves, you fight. So for now, it's just me, but this is gonna teach us, okay, we have to use our active ability, which is a sword. So we do that. There's a cooldown, you can see the little circle above our head. That's how often we can use that sword attack. For the tutorial, it wants us to do that three times, so we need to do one more here. Uh, over time, you're gonna see a lot more enemies. Every enemy is a certain archetype that does its own thing. Uh, there's enemies that will just like go straight for the king. There's enemies that will go straight for um, the the castle. There's enemies that are melee based. There's like ogres, there's archers, there's all sorts of stuff. So one of the key balancing things uh, for the game that you need to decide is do you invest in your economy or do you invest in your defenses or your uh, offensive units? So there's a kind of push-pull that you have to decide on all the time. Houses generate you income if they survive the night. And uh, you buy them for two gold, they generate one every night. So they pay for themselves pretty quickly. Um, now, let's go nighttime again. This is going to be pretty straightforward. This tutorial itself is going to be pretty straightforward. It should be... Uh, it's eight waves long, so we're already on the second one. And then once they let us do our own thing, that's when things can and have, for me, gone off the rails. I've been playing this a little bit, and I am really enjoying it. It's not as simple as it looks. Kind of like, like, I would say, when you play Kingdom for the first time, you're like, oh, yeah, okay, I get it. And then it's like, they layer things, and they layer things, and that's kind of the same thing that's happening here. So I feel like that's a big compliment to this game, that they've achieved that. This is an early access now. Um, they're planning to add, like, way more levels and stuff. I don't even know the price, but I know it's cheap. And you can get, I think, three to five hours of the campaign. And then you can obviously redo stuff to get, like, high scores and stuff. Between uh, runs, like, if you're successful, or even if you're not, you'll be earning points. And those points are used for unlocks. You can get different weapons for your knight or for your king. You can get different perks for your city. You can get different mutations to make things more difficult and earn higher bonuses and higher scores. So uh, there's a lot that's going to unlock here. Now uh, it wants us to upgrade our castle, so we're going to do that. When you do this, you get options to choose from. Royal Training gives you extra HP and extra attack damage in your character. And Builder's Guild makes it so that every morning a level 1 house, which we have 3 are automatically upgraded to a level 2 house. Level 1 produces 1 gold, level 2 produces 2 gold. So, early on in a run, that's pretty good. Uh, for right now, I'm going to take the extra attack damage, because we're just going to be absolutely slapping. We're out of gold, so let's go. There's also, like, a... There's a bit of a trade-off of, do I spend my gold, or do I save my gold to try and get my castle upgraded, or upgrade my towers, upgrade some other building, uh, versus, oh, I've got, you know, three gold left over, should I just build a house kind of thing? And I think that strategy changes depending on how far into the, into the runs you are. I like the cool little animations, too, the way the gold comes to you. So now it's up to us. Keep a balance between defense and economy. That's fine. We're absolutely owning right now, but there are 25 coming in here. Something we need to think about. Uh, so what I'm going to do is throw down 
this fence here. Now, the enemies have to break the fence to get through it. Even if the door is opened, they uh, still have to break it to get through. We have mills now where you can build fields around them for income. And then we have over here a barracks. So this is a melee barracks. And you get to pick a melee unit type when it's built. And then uh, what else? What else should we do? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw down a barracks here. So we can choose knights. They're versatile. They're well-rounded. They're well-armored. And uh, they're good against range attacks. Spearmen do extra damage against fast enemies and slow them down. Not a great pick against range units, however. Um, we don't have range units spawning, but let's so let's go ahead and pick spearmen for this now You can't go back here and just build more you have to upgrade this with eight coins to get four more units um, If you build it as a spearman barracks, that's what you're getting Okay, the way you control these is you hold down X or uh, left control on a keyboard and then you kind of gather them, and then you can go and plop them in position. Say, I want them there. Cool. Let's say I wanted them to not move from this position. Then I can hold it for a bit longer, and they're going to stay in those little spots as they're assigned. Um, but what I'm going to do is get them, like, back here. I want to be fighting in this area. Oh, I actually have two more gold. Let me... It's still early here. Let me throw down another house here. And let's call in the waves. I do like that you call the waves as well. Yeah, we can bring these guys. This is fine. If you call the... Uh, in, in other games, the, there's sometimes a timer for when the knight is going to hit. And it causes a lot of stress. You don't have that here. The stress is like, did I make the right decision? And will it pay off? And I, I do like that we, we trigger that on our own. <clears throat> okay. So I've got ten... What else do we want to do here? Let's maybe... We could upgrade our towers for five. Makes them a little bit tankier. They have more attack damage. I think let's do that. And I'll throw down a mill here. Just to show you what that looks like. So you build the mill. There's two options for this. Every future upgrade of the mill increases income even more. Plus one per upgrade. And then explosive trap. So the mill explodes when destroyed... Dealing massive damage around itself. The damage and radius increase every time you upgrade this mill. So this is good if, it, if the mill happens to be in a choke point or something. Or you know it's going to get attacked like frequently. Because then you probably wouldn't just... You would probably just build it and not put down any fields. And um, use that as a defensive thing. Because the buildings come back when they're destroyed. Uh, they come back the next morning. So let's go improve plow here. And then let's spend the others on... The field. You can see in the top left what these are going to do for you. Uh, so this is going to generate us one gold, and it has ten hit points, which is nothing. If an enemy breathes on it wrong, it's pretty much gone. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, call these. Let's call this in. I'm going to bring these guys back. I don't want the archers to just like crush them. So when they get closer, I'll just set them free. And now we're going to go. I'll go to the back line. Now, you can sort of aggro different enemies and stuff. Uh, but that's hard to do because you lose the aggro pretty quick. And again, this is the tutorial. We're going to get into the next mission very quickly. And then things get um, spicier. They definitely get spicier. Okay, let's upgrade this. And I'll put eight into this. So the other benefit, yes, you get f four extra spearmen. That's cool. Uh, but what it also does is, if a spearman dies during the night, then it will start producing spearmen at a faster rate than normal because it's upgraded. And if that happens, you look at your barracks, you can see a progress bar that's happening. And uh, that will determine uh, how fast the units respond. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Now we can upgrade these houses for two, and then it'll generate uh, two gold. But I feel like you might as well fill up your slots first. Going deep. Oh, I missed my swing. That feels bad. So you can see, like, I've got the attention of some of them. I am one-shotting those little guys. I'm excited to show you guys some of the different enemy types, too, because... Let's go. So have we lost anybody? We haven't even lost one unit yet. Okay. 
So this is the final night now. They have like a final wave. And it looks like it's going to be four ogres. Which are probably going to absolutely decimate our spearmen. Um, fine. Fine by me, I guess. Let's upgrade this. I'll throw in another tower here. We'll do five there. Two here. And then we'll just like upgrade some of these. Not that it's going to matter because it's the final night. And let's grab everybody. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to throw them right in here. And if they die, then I'll show you how the, the barracks replenishes. And they will die. Because these guys hit very, very, very hard. I'll try and kite one of them back once I can. So look at the barracks now in the top. That's producing a new spearman, and then they come to fight. Uh, you can use LB to lock your attack target. So that's kind of cool. I actually never caught that when I first played. Very cool. So if you're... Uh, if there's like a big specific unit that you want to be hitting, then you can do it. Normally it just auto-targets the closest. You can see the little crosshair, right? So, nice. Good start. Good start. But now things are like... Now the game begins. Now, now, it's, now it's real talk here. Okay. So you get a base score, a gold bonus, and a mutator bonus. At each level, you unlock something new. So this is a possible perk that we could choose called Royal Mint. So your castle center produces gold, and that income increases every time you upgrade it. So that gets your economy going a little bit quicker. The next is Arcane Towers. Your towers have a much greater range, and their projectiles deal significantly more damage to enemies. And then lastly, we have this Light Spear. This is a king weapon. It's a rapid melee attack, deals bonus damage against all fast-moving enemy types and slows them down for a couple seconds. It's effective against fast enemies. It, its active ability, instead of the Sword Slash that we have right now, heals. And uh, when you are doing that, you get a significant increase to your attack speed for a brief moment. If you activate this ability while you're under 30% max health, the effect lasts even longer. Okay? So... Uh, what are mutators? Well, we'll get into that in a second, but they're essentially difficulty modifiers. Okay, so over here you're going to see zero of six. This is the next area. The six is the number of quests. So if you look in the bottom right, there's different quests that you can take on, and those have different rewards. So if you achieve a victory, you complete a quest. Achieve a high score of 5,000, that completes a quest. Do it without the bow, that completes a quest. Do it with this mutator. So the turtle god is that the enemies have more health, but you get 20% more points and XP if you win. The tiger god, uh, the enemies deal more damage, but you get more points and XP if you win. And the snake god, enemies drop less gold, but you get 20% more points and XP if you win. Um, there is a quest to win without the bow, so we're going to do that. And for our perk, we can only choose one. Towers have a much greater range. Projectiles deal significantly more damage to enemies. Let's, uh, let's pick that. And then for a mutator, how risky are we feeling here? How risky? Let's maybe throw on the turtle here. And so enemies are going to have more health, but they're not going to deal more damage. And we get 20% more points in XP if we win. Okay. Then we unlock more perks, use those in other levels, or do this again with better perks and so on and so forth. And let's try it. Okay, so now we're totally on our own. So we're going to spend three there, and we'll just scout to see what's available. So we have the mill. We have houses. Tower there. Mill there. Tower there. Mill there. First batch of enemies, three knights coming from down there, which is not a big deal. Um, so I'm pretty confident that we can handle that. What I'm going to do is put all of our money into economy. And let's go. So, now with this weapon, you can see I have to get in there. The trade-off is that I'm definitely going to get hit more. Um, it does slow down faster enemies, which is nice. But it's way weaker. And so, yeah, I'm going to take damage, but that's where my my special attack comes in. So as I'm low here, I can hit this. I start rapidly attacking, and I heal, like, in a burst, which is really nice. Okay. I'm going to take my castle upgrade right now. And what should we do here? Every morning, a level 1 house automatically upgrades to level 2 if available, plus 50% HP. 
or I take the HP and the attack damage. I think I'll go Builder's Guild this time. I feel like with this weapon, like, that extra, your, your extra attack damage is not ramped up that much because it's so weak to start with. That said, um, I am fighting eight knights on my own here. So is that going to be a problem? It's incredibly possible that it is. I don't know if that was the right decision. But let's see what I can do here. I'll try and, like, get a quick send out there. And the cooldown's pretty long. Yeah, hit me, hit me, hit me. Over here. Yeah, I've got him kited. This is good. I can't keep him kited forever, but... I'm trying my best. Okay. I feel like that early castle upgrade was risky. It did pay off in this situation. But having nothing else helping me defend was kind of sketch. Okay, now that house got upgraded to level 2. So I want to make sure that I can get one of these upgraded every time, obviously. So now I'm getting attacked from two angles. Um, we're getting attacked down here by eight knights. And we're getting attacked up here by, like, these little scarabs. And I think these are the ones that chase me specifically. <laughs> really cool. Let's build a tower here. And... We have a tower over there we could build, but no enemies coming in yet, so we can worry about that later. Um, I could build a wall here. That's probably the safest option. Because the enemies have to destroy that. I'll sit on the one gold. And I'll start down here. Yeah, so those ones do. They, they just hunt the king. See how I immediately slow it down, though? Trying to draw aggro, hit as many of these as I can. Little sketch. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what happens if the king goes down? If the king goes down, uh, there's a revival that takes 10 seconds. And that 10 seconds feels like about 10 hours. Because you can't do anything and you're helpless at that point in time. And enemies are just destroying whatever they want. Now, uh... Buildings do get destroyed at night. They come back at the beginning of the day. So that's something you got to keep in mind. I'm going to build another house here. So that we have something that can get upgraded. And then I'll use these other seven for... We need 20 for the castle. We have a bunch of archers coming in. Um, I could build melee units there. Or I could build ranged units here. Let's maybe go ranged units. And we'll probably go crossbowmen. So you can build archers. They're... Very large uh, range, but quite fragile. Great to pick if you keep them at a safe distance. Uh, or crossbowmen have a low range, high damage output. They're armored against ranged attacks. Bonus damage against ranged units. Less effective against flying. So, in this level, I know we're going to have flying units. I should probably pick longbow archers, even though right now, crossbowmen would probably do better. I feel like I'm going to take the longbow here. That leaves me with three coins. Um, I don't really want to build a mill because then I have to protect it. Even though we don't really have anything going that direction right now. Now they might. Maybe I'll... I'm just going to try and build from the center out. Uh, I'll throw down another tower here. And then I'll bring these guys to, say, this location. And, yeah, I think this is going to be okay. I'm going to focus on this southern group here, see if they spawn in. They're not. Oh, oh, I canceled the call. I was like, what did I do? Okay, here we go. Let's use my special to quickly get through a couple of them. As far as I can tell, um, there's not a, a sound cue or anything that would say, like, oh, you triggered this below 30%. That would be nice. So you kind of have to just go on, like, on the visual.
Yeah, this was fine. I, sh I could have brought those archers out way, way further, too. Okay, so now I have a bunch of... These are castle destroyers, I'm calling them. They just go for the castle, and that is a concern, because they're going to come beelining in through here, and that's going to be a problem. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to build a house. I feel like did I, I might have missed a, a night with a house to upgrade, unfortunately. But that's sometimes the, how the cookie crumbles. I could perhaps grab... Let's do this, okay? I'm going to build a melee barracks. And we have knights, versatile, well-armored. But I think I'm going to go spearmen to slow down the faster enemies here. Let's do that. Now, uh, to organize these can be a little tricky. Because you can't just say, just select my spearmen, you know? You have to kind of move them around like this. But this is only a problem if you dump all of your guys into a similar area like I did. Okay, you come with me. So now we have our two groups. You guys are going to basically sit right here. I'm going to lock you in place. And I want these guys to basically be locked in place uh, here for now. So that they start slowing the enemy down. Um... And I will kind of do the same, I think. I got four left. What else could I do? You know what? I'll build another tower here because that will hit them as they're hitting the the walls. And then I have a, a house that can be upgraded for free. So cool. Let's go. Now I'm going to get out here and cause problems right away. Start slowing them down as much as I can. Looks like that tower over there can hit them, which is cool. So now I'm going to bring these guys over here. Just kind of go wherever they want. If you don't lock them in place, they will chase the enemies. That was that was very solid, actually. That was very solid. Okay. Do I have any fast enemies? Not really. I don't really have any fast enemies here. I feel like I could just drop these guys right there and fight that. Okay, so I'm at 10. Let's get another house. And I need 20 for the castle upgrade, so I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet. Would like to get a farm going. I guess I could, although it probably just gets destroyed from this group right now. Can I do a farm here, maybe? Yeah, okay. Let's do a farm here. Now, uh, we can do improve plow or explosive trap. This is kind of in a... In a uh, spot where that would be valuable. It's in a choke point. Because I don't know how often I'm going to upgrade the actual mill itself right now to take advantage of the uh, plus one gold. So maybe I'll go explosive trap. Now, the downside is, yeah, I'm expecting that to blow up. Sure. Um, that means that if it does, it won't generate me the income. And if they hit the fields, I won't generate that either. So that's a little problematic, but it is what it is. Um, we'll keep these guys around here, and I've got three more. Maybe I'll throw an extra house back there. Okay. So our spearmen are definitely going to start dropping. And they have. So now I'm going to pull these guys back inside the walls. I maybe pulled them a little too far back there. Power's gone. Those fields are not going to generate us any income. Behind the wall now. Yikes. I gotta watch my health. This is fine. They're pretty focused on me. Okay. 
I didn't even catch the explosion that happened there, but, um, yeah. Sadly, I don't get any income from that right now. So now we have, looks like, all flyers to the left. Um, I have 16. Maybe this would be a good opportunity to get more archers. Okay, so let's bring these guys. Now, with this spear, I can't do anything against flyers. So I'm, I'm at the mercy of these guys. Um... Let's go ahead... What should I do here? I have a couple extra housing spots. Maybe I'll do that. I'll save the four. And then these guys... These guys also can't do anything against flyers. So you might as well just chill. These things are not generating gold. Or didn't generate gold. So let's see if that resets on the next night. These little flyers, too, they're pretty capable damage dealers, as you can see. Like, they're going straight for the buildings. And I just have to watch, unfortunately. But that means I'm going to be two less gold produced. Let's see if the farm produces gold here, the mill. It did. Okay, so it's only one night where it's out of commish. This one is X now. That's fine. Okay. So at the top, I've got... Uh, king hunters and castle hunters, and then at the bottom I've got a whole bunch of knights. What do we do? I got 20. Should I just go into this? It's gonna more than double its HP. Um, and then I can pick an upgrade as well. And then it gives me additional building options, so we'll see what that gets us. So, Royal Mastery or now Commander. Units move faster while you command them. You have a healing aura that heals allied units nearby. And 30% overall damage output for your character. So here, I'm still lower HP, but I'm getting some damage output. I'm getting a healing aura. But that healing aura would be better if I had, like, way more melee units. And moving them faster is probably good. But I'm going to just take Royal Mastery here. Okay. I've got three more. Um, oh, yeah. Look at all this now. Okay. So house, wall, tower, wall, tower, tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Let's set up a wall here. Will they go around it? I have no idea. They might. They might. I'll set these here. I'll set my spearmen down in this area. This one is set to explode if it gets destroyed, which is probably going to happen. Might as well fight these guys in range here. Looks like they kind of just want to go for the tower. Ooh, this is a problem. Okay, let's bring our archers back in here. So one of them is going for the wall. Let's get you back in here. Yeah, that's gonna... Oh, yeah, look at that AoE damage. That's big. That is big. Easy joke in there. Easy joke. Anyone want to take that? No? I'm 12, by the way, so... Okay, that was pretty solid. That was pretty solid. We lost some income there, but this thing paid for, for that in what it brought to us. So now I have another archery thing out here that I could build. Uh, there's still a a house that can be upgraded for free, so that's really nice. I like that upgrade, actually. I can build houses out here, too. I think... I guess we could upgrade the walls, also. So we're getting flyers from the left, ogres from the front. Oh, and flyers from the right. Okay. 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 Now, yes, I could build this out here, and it would give me a bunch of archers. But they probably won't get replenished during the night, which I think is fine. I think that's okay. I'll maybe just stick with archers, because it looks like there's a lot of flying. Then, uh... 
I could do this. And do this. Then do I have... Yeah, I've got corner towers that I can add. Yeah. I think this is a... This feels like a good idea. Okay. So I'll put... These guys... Like, right here, I think. These guys... Here. These guys can go hit the ogres, but they're just going to get absolutely annihilated, I think. I'll maybe distribute these a little bit more evenly. Not sure if that will become a thing that matters or not, but... Oh, I also have another another melee barracks inside here. Okay, so what am I expecting to happen? This tower maybe handles these flyers. Don't know. Maybe they destroy this thing. That would kind of suck. Um, maybe I'll try to protect that a little bit. And we should be fine on this side. A little bit concerned about this. But there's, there's only five of them coming in from each of these locations on the extremes. Actually, five from everywhere except the bottom. There's, there's ten. So, yeah. Okay. Let's let her rip here. I'll work on the ogre with these guys. Look how strong this is. Okay. Let me just double check that everything's going fine everywhere else. Oh yeah, more than, more than. My spearmen did get absolutely owned. They did take down two towers. But this guy's following me now, so that's cool. Let me get my gold. I don't know if we auto pick up this gold that's dropped by the enemies. Oh, yeah, it looks like we do. Okay, nice. Nice! Okay, so now what's up? Now what's up? I've got uh, 30 knights and an ogre in each position. This area feels like it's going to be tough to defend. Do we have another possible upgrade here of the castle? No. Um, let's put two into a house so that we get an upgrade. Maybe this is the time to upgrade all of the towers. Okay, so we go to the next level. And then there's a final form of this tower for 15. Um, I don't know if I can afford to do that. I'm probably better off upgrading a bunch of them to its second level. And maybe let's do... How much is this? Eight to do this wall? Or sorry, 12. I have eight. Hmm. Okay. You guys come with me. This is... Yeah, nothing. There's another barracks here I could build, I suppose. Or I could take that eight and upgrade to more archers. I think maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. So now, these guys, are these archers? Yeah, these guys are archers. Okay, cool. Let's come in here. My little spearman. Here. Maybe what I'll do is, we'll just have these guys run a distraction on this group so that tower can get some extra damage out. I'll run a distraction down here. And then... These guys are going to be very close, so let's put them all back here. I don't need anybody on the left side. We'll put these guys all here. Because they can hit both groups as they come in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm 
I'm just gonna run a little bit of help wherever I can. No way I can really keep them off the tower. That's gonna explode though. That mill. My little spearman valiantly going out there. Here comes the mill. Exploding. Oh, I don't know if that was... If, I don't know if they were close enough. Okay, I, I do have these ogres out now. That's a bit of a problem. Try to get some of the little ones down. Here's one. He's low. Yeah, I think we're fine here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, beautiful. Where we're really losing is like this little investment here isn't getting paid back very often because it's constantly getting blown up. But that's life. Okay, so now we have a bunch of archers, which is sort of problematic. And then we have a bunch of... I don't know if those are the king ones or the castle ones, but either way, not not great. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we have 29 to spend. Do I get more archers? Do I get some more melee units? Maybe that's what I should do here. Get more melee. Or I could upgrade my walls, which doesn't seem too bad. If I upgraded all my walls here, does that feel good? I could get... Okay, I can't upgrade all of them, but I could build another house in here. I'll do that. I can build another house here. I'll save the rest, I think. Or, why don't I do this? Let's go ahead and get some knights so we have a little bit of extra variety. I think I got an archer in here, but that's fine. The archer is kind of right here. Are you an archer? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so now we keep all the archers back here. We need to upgrade this inner wall for sure. Strategically, I don't know. Does it make sense to upgrade the inner walls first? I'm not sure, but let's let her buck. Yeah, so these are castle hunters right here. They're just going straight for the castle. They don't care at all. About anything else. But this is mostly fine. I feel like that group of them just focused me and be bad. Yep, it is. Coming in hot. Looking flashy, not getting a whole lot done. Okay, that was very clean, actually. Okay, take your positions. Our gold is getting up there. I feel actually quite good about the way that we've built this. Okay, so now we have a small wave here, which me oh, whoops. Which means I think our next wave is gonna be final. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade these inner walls. Looks like it's gonna upgrade the whole shebang. That's cool. Uh, maybe just more units would be good. I'm going to get these guys out here. Let's go more units. 
I'll take more archers, too. I don't know if, like... I don't know. Maybe that's not good. Like, the, the cost per archer is really bad at that point. But, like, that's the only way that you could... Imp oh, I could have taken them from here. Oh, no, we both had the same. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, all of these guys can do whatever you need to do there. Don't have a lot of mills happening. Don't have a lot of mills. Uh, do we have any more, like, tower spots? We still have towers we could upgrade. Maybe that's what we do with our last batch. Let's let this go. Yeah, that's very fast. Okay. Okay, so now... We set up for the big one. We got all sorts of stuff here. We have new things, some things we've seen before. I'm going to allocate, like, four archers over in this area. I hope that that's okay. I'm going to upgrade towers. Oh, yeah, we have some, like, final form towers we could do. I could do one. Maybe I'll upgrade this one to a final form tower. Iron plate. So it becomes armored, will not go down easily, or ballista. Increased range, shoots very powerful projectiles at low rate of fire, focuses siege engines and other large enemies. So let's do that there, and we have all this other stuff for them to attack, right? Um, these guys, I'm going to throw down here. Yeah, we'll throw these guys down here. Um, these guys as well down here. Archers inside here I got eight left anything else I can do anything else uh, this tower could be upgraded that's fine I got three left nothing inside there that I can do can't afford to upgrade that oh here look at that Okay, well, that's going to go down pretty quick, but let's see if we can defend this. I'll maybe bring some of these guys, like, here to be able to hit that top group. Okay, so they're, they're not all spawning at the same time. That's good news. Ogre down. Siege down. So many ogres. Some flyers from the left, but not really. Okay, now they're spawning top right. Oh, that was beautiful. Some of the flyers got through, but that seems fine. Let me rearrange these guys. Oh, I think we're in I think we're in a pretty good spot here. I'm gonna grab all these groups now and just say come here. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. That does so much damage. You see how much that lob did? That gate's almost destroyed. It's not, though. Okay. Am I concerned? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, there's so many more. Get everyone behind the walls.
Oh, so close. Okay, my big seizure is down. I think we're good. I think we're gonna be okay. But that was closer than I thought it was gonna be based on what we had out there. Still learning all the capabilities and stuff of these units, but... Very, 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 very nice. That was excellent. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I wouldn't mind doing a full run here. It's not a long game right now. It's early access. I think it's three to five hours. Um, let's see what we got unlocked here. We got that mutator bonus. 7,306, so that's good. One of the quests, I think, was 5,000. Heavy armor. So now one of the perks that we could choose is you have very a very large amount of health, but your horse is slightly slower at night. This is flails. Unlock a new upgrade path for melee units. Units with flails can attack all enemies close to them in a single powerful blow, so like an AoE. We have castle fortifications. Your castle center has a lot more HP. Fires arrows faster and at a greater attack range. It might be good. And level 8, perk point. You can now bring plus one perk into the game. That's huge. Okay. So now we can take in two perks. So the question is, do we go back and try to finish off these other two quests? We'd have to achieve a victory basically with... If we wanted to do it all, we would just do it like this, right? And see, see how that goes. And we get an extra perk that we can use as well. I'd probably go back to the bow. Um... And then maybe like castle fortifications. Or maybe I try the royal mint. I feel like arcane tower seems really good, right? That's your main way of getting damage out. I could try royal mint and try to finish that off. Or we give a try at the new level, see if there's like a power spike or not. If there is, we come back and finish off these quests, get stronger, and then come and do this. But yeah, either way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. If you could drop a like on this video, that would help me a lot. And I would really appreciate it. Take care. Bye for now.